right, now we get into the fun stuff. We get to swap the speakers out. Uh, starting on the passenger side here, we have our whole enclosure pulled out so we can um, easily access the speaker. The driver's side, you don't have to do anything. You can access that speaker while it's in place. Uh, but with the woofer that they included in the, uh, in the kit here, basically the same for all four woofers that you're gonna swap out. They'll come with one connector, but they have two inputs on the, on the speaker. You can use any one. It'll work just fine with either side that you wanna plug that into. And the soft dome tweeter, same deal, different connector. Um, just line up the little clips, slide that in, uh, slide that in place. And now it's just installing everything the way, uh, the way it came out. We'll plug this back into all the factory connectors and, uh, oh, and with your woofer, forgot to mention, you do have uh, some cotton batting that you're gonna stuff into the enclosure once you pull the speaker out. You're just gonna stuff this in there, uh, line up your screw holes, screw this in, and then we can get our speaker installed. Once we finish this side up, we'll do the same thing on the passenger side, and uh, we can finish up the dash uh, by reinstalling all of the panels that we removed. All right, once you got that speaker back in, uh, we'll jump on the other side and do the same thing. All right, now we can reassemble our dash. All right, now we can go ahead and put our dash back together. And we got four screws that we took out behind the airbag. Now we can snap our airbag back in place. Now we are replacing all of our panels with the Rubicon panels. So that's why these are red. Um, to try and bring that speedometer cluster that we swapped out bring it out a little bit more into the interior. Um, don't forget to screw in um, the two larger bolts that were up underneath your airbag. Don't forget to put those in and also plug your airbag back in.
All right, if you made it this far, all you should be left with is a harness coming off of your amp for that sub, knee bolster panel. Basically, all you gotta do is attach your sub harness here, and, and they did label it. One side says amp out, the other side says sub out, so we're just gonna match it up. This is the side that the amplifier is coming out, so we'll plug this into there. And what I'm gonna do is simply zip tie it to this uh, door harness here that's coming down, this factory harness. I'm just gonna zip tie this up here and we'll run this along the door sill to the back. Once we get back there, we'll, we'll show you the rest of the steps. All right, grab your zip tie, come around this harness here. Just like that. All right, and you can go ahead and put your, your knee bolster panel back on since we're down here. All right, so what I'm gonna do is run this harness on the underside of this main harness here. All right, and there should be just enough room for that panel to fit over here if you just push these, uh, these wires kind of down and out of the way. And actually tuck it underneath the carpet slightly. We'll work our way towards the rear towards the center here, do the same thing, kind of just pull that out. Stuff your harness underneath. Once you get your wire back to uh, the end of your trim panel here, um, there's a split in the carpet that you can actually lift up this carpet here and get your wire and tuck it underneath. And what you're gonna try to do is work it up uh, to the top side behind that back seat. So, just work your way up and we'll pull the seat down and get the view from the other side. All right, so as you're working it up, the carpet um, cut here, you're gonna kinda hug the um, the side furthest away from the uh, seat bracket. And you can pull up on this carpet here and you'll expose, it's like a little cage under here that we're gonna run our wire through that cage, pop out on the other side and we're just gonna cut right across to the passenger side. Now we got our wire where we want it. You want to pull back the carpet here. Basically what OEM Audio recommends is to use some uh, wire clips to secure this wire in place. Um, if you don't have access to wire clips, um, you could even use uh, duct tape, cover the wire just to keep it secure. But we do have wire clips, so that's what we're gonna use. All right, once you got your wires all secured, we can drop our carpet back down and we will grab our subwoofer and get it prepped for install. All right, so now that we got our sub back here, um, there's a couple of steps we gotta do to it before we can install it. There's two brackets that we have to install on the sub box. And on the box, the mounting screws for those brackets are pre-installed. That is a, so is that, 5 30 seconds Allen. Uh, to pull those out, we'll put our brackets on there. Then you'll have to remove this panel here, which is a T25, I believe, where this carpet snap is you have to remove the nut that's holding that on and that's a 17 millimeter socket to pull that off. So let's prep our sub up, pull these brackets off or these Allen's out there. All right, when you got your bracket ready to go on, 
the sub is notched, so it'll only go on one way, you can't get this wrong. And the same with the side bracket here. Alright, now we can run our wire from underneath this carpet and we'll run it up the side of the tire well here. Alright, now we're pretty much ready to mount our sub. The plug for your sub is on the side. We'll plug that in first. The bracket actually goes underneath the lip of your rail here. So, alright, so your bracket sits underneath your factory rail and you're going to have to line up the threaded holes with the factory threaded holes. Now if you got your hardtop on, um, these are the same holes that are used to hold your hard, your hardtop down. Uh, so you pull those T50s out, slide your bracket in place, line it up, and you want to use the new hardware that comes with your, comes with your system. And I'm not going to tighten these down just yet. I want a little bit of wiggle room so I can line up the side bracket here. And this um, cosmetic piece on our Jeep has a center little uh, snap in here that has to snap off. There is no provision for this to fall in place here. I'm just gonna snip this off and put our screws in that we removed earlier. All right, now that the side's in, I'll tighten the top deck. We'll finish up the rear speakers and test the system out. All right, so we just put our OEM Audio Plus subwoofer on the right rear uh, passenger rail there. So since we're still in the back here, we're gonna finish up with the last step, which is basically swapping these speakers out. Exactly the same step as the front speakers, the same connectors, the same batting that goes into the enclosure uh, but this one you got a lot more access to it this is just four five millimeter allens you're gonna pull out to drop that grill down and then you have a t20 to remove the speakers you're just gonna swap those out exactly like we did the front so let's get into that And there's a little piece of foam um, stuffed next to the tweeter. I want to pop that little foam out. Because most of the time it'll just fall right out when you pull the speaker out. Stuff the batting into the woofer housing, the woofer's enclosure. stuff that foam back into the uh, opening there and that's pretty much all she wrote for back here we'll put the grill back on and then we'll do the same thing on the other side All right, now we'll throw the uh, driver kick panel back together, plug the door back in and uh, connect the fuses and see what this sounds like. All right, so we'll go ahead and get our kick panel and put this back in place. Slide that up underneath here. Make sure your wiring is on the outside of the kick panel before you snap that back in place. All right, 
put our 10 mil back on. Now you want to grab your door harness here. All right, so like all the other paddle harnesses in the, in the Jeep, as you stick your harness in there, when you flip the paddle, it'll start to pull your harness together. We'll slide this back in to the plastic clip and to the door hook here. All right, then we can click our little cover back in place. I'm not sure which way this went. Um, I don't really think it matters if you pull it through. It's just there to kind of hold it from falling down. No big deal. All right. And now we're ready for the fuses. All right. Underneath the hood where your fuses are, you want to pop those into your fuse holders that we installed earlier. Once those are in and secure, you can cl close a little... Uh, the covers on them. And now we can turn the system on. See what it sounds like. That actually sounds really good. Um, it's a really easy solution for somebody looking to upgrade their system in their Jeep. Uh, the sound that's coming out of these small speakers is, is quite remarkable yeah but that completes the install uh, if you want an upgrade like this for your Jeep check it out on infotainment.com and uh, hear the difference for yourself